Thank you, Chairman. I'd like to uh, welcome the uh, speakers before the committee. Uh, I'm also not a member of the committee, but a former director of Galway Harbour Company. I spent a number of years uh, when I was a member of Galway County Council. And like my colleague, I fully support the plans for the redevelopment and uh, have made a submission to that effect to on board Panola. Uh, similar, I, I was, uh, it's regrettable that Deputy Dunlan, uh, you know, chose, well, getting parochial is fine and he is fully entitled to support uh, his local uh, port of, of, of Shannon Foynes, uh, but uh, I always believe in politics and everything else, you know, promote yourself, don't have to attack someone else, and he tried to do a hatchet job on Galway, and again, I agree with my colleague that uh, he must be concerned about Galway getting plans for approval, or perhaps he's acting on behalf of Shannon Foynes, that uh, they're concerned uh, that Galway expansion would go ahead. Uh, I spoke last week in the chamber, the old chamber regarding the Merchant Shipping Bill uh, when I invited Minister, the new Minister for Transport, Pascal Dunhu, to come down and visit Galway to see the plan. So he'd indicated by, that he, he would be happy to do so, so we can arrange that uh, if, you, if you're agreeable, which I presume you are, uh, to, to, to see the plans that you have. Um, I, I, I think, you know, obviously. As you said, you've been hindered by what you have at the moment, the, the, gated, um, the, the, the gates in the port. And you know, if, if and when this development takes place, uh, the potential for the port is, is astronomical, not just in, in increase in, in, uh, in shipping, but also in the tourism sector and the cruise liners. And the, the potential there in relation to that is, 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 is huge. And certainly um, other ports couldn't compete with that because Galway port is at the heart of the city. It's you know, within walking distance or a very short, very short bus journey uh, to, to Air Square for, for, for tourists. So there's huge potential there. Uh, we've seen a lot of initiatives in tourism over the last number of years of the White Atlantic Way and the other other areas like that. So you know this is this is huge potential in terms of tourism. Um, and uh, again, the captain spoke about the Volvo Ocean Race, which was a huge success. And part of that was because the port is at the heart of the city. It wouldn't work if you were you know, uh, 50 miles away. The fact that uh, people within the city could come out and experience the, the, the Volvo Ocean Race. Just, uh, I suppose, a few things. Do you think, um, and I know that the, obviously you have plans long before the port's policy was published, the plans for this, uh, for, the, for the port development have been a train for a long number of years. Do you think the port po policy can hin will hinder um, planning permission? Or, or do you think if you secure planning permission that this will allow um, our you know, strengthen the, the, the hand to have the port policies changed. Um, do you think that the cooperation, as it stands at the moment, the cooperation that was planned and envisaged under with Galway City Council, do you think that will actually help in, in terms of the redevelopment of the inner dock, which obviously uh, has, has a huge tourist potential there as well? Um, is is the funding, do you think, dependent on a move to, to, to Tier 2, or are there any alternatives? And um, if tiers one, two, and three, if they're not used as criteria, what would you envisage should be used? And uh, you, you said, um, Eamon, in your, in, your, in your presentation in terms of the change of status, um, you know, uh, there should be a mechanism to allow for, for the port to be upgraded, for the, for the port to be upgraded to a higher level, um, and no such facility is included in the proposed legislation. On what basis or what criteria would you see that this would be allowed? Is it based on expansion plans, or what, what sort of criteria would you uh, envisage in terms of the legislation? Because uh, obviously there has to be some basis, some, something to go to, to, to government with, and obviously the expansion plans would be, would be one of those. So um, again, I'd just like to reiterate my, my, my support of the plans. Uh, I said it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hugely hugely important for the city and, and surrounding areas of Galway that this plan goes ahead and I'm confident that it can and uh, I, I fully support those. Okay,